Sessions gets the job. Right after he gets the job, he recuses himself. Was that a mistake? Well, Sessions should have never recused himself. And if he would, if he was going to recuse himself, he should have told me before he took the job, and I would have picked somebody else. Mm -hmm. He gave you no heads up at all. Mm -hmm. any sense. Zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Jeff Sessions takes the job, gets into the job, recuses himself. I then have, uh, which, which frankly, I think is very unfair to the president. Mm -hmm. How do you take a job and then recuse yourself? If he would have recused himself before the job, I would have said, thanks, Jeff, but I can't, you know, I'm not going to take you. It's extremely unfair, and that's a mild word to the president. So he recuses himself. I then end up with a second man who's a deputy. Mueller was looking at your finances, your family's finances, unrelated to Russia. Is that a red line? Would that be a breach of what his actual? I would say yes. Is? Yeah, I would say yes. Uh, by the way, I would say I don't. I don't. I mean, it's possible that it's a condo or something. So you know, I sell a lot of condo units, mm -hmm. and somebody, somebody from Russia buys a condo. Who knows? I don't make money from Russia. Mm -hmm. In fact, I put out a letter saying that I don't make from one of the most highly respected law firms and accounting firms. Um, I don't have buildings in Russia. They said I own buildings in Russia. I don't. They said I made money from Russia. No, it's not my thing. I don't, I don't do that. Over the years, I've looked at maybe doing a deal in Russia, but I never did one. You know, other than they held the Miss Universe match, and they're eight, nine. But if he was she's sitting next to Putin and somebody else, okay. and that's the way it is. So the meal is going through, and toward dessert, I went down just to say hello to Melania, and while I was there, I said hello to Putin. Really pleasantries, more than anything else, uh, was not a long conversation, but it was, you know, it could be 15 minutes, just talked about mm -hmm. things. Uh, we Actually, it was very interesting, we talked about adoption. Mm -hmm. You did? Russian adoption, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've always found that interesting because, you know, he ended that years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I actually talked about Russian adoption with him, which is interesting because that was a part of a conversation that... Don had with this meeting that I think, as I said, most other people, you know, when they call up and they say, by the way, we have information on your opponent. Mm -hmm. I think most politicians, I was just with a lot of people, they said, who wouldn't have taken a meeting like that? Mm -hmm. I didn't look at it very closely, to be honest with you. Okay. I just heard there was an email mm -hmm. uh, requesting a meeting or something, yeah, requesting a meeting uh, that they have information on Hillary Clinton. And I said, I mean, that's standard political stuff. Did you know at the time that they had the meeting? No, I didn't know anything about the meeting. So but you know, you get this. It must have been a very important, a very, must have been a very unimportant meeting because I never even heard about it. No one told you a word, nothing. I nobody know we talked about this in the plane a little bit, but nobody. No, nobody told me. I didn't know that. You know it's you, a very unimportant, it sounded like a very unimportant meeting. The, you, the, the, the day you clinched the nomination with New Jersey and California and the primaries and so forth, you give a speech that night saying you're going to give a speech about Hillary Clinton's uh, corrupt dealings with Russia and other countries. And that comes just three hours after Don well, number Jr. Number one, I made, I made uh, people wondered about the speeches. Yeah. I, would, I go after her all the time. No.